Greetings, I am Count Jackula. And I'm the Horror Guru. Welcome to Count Jackula Blogs. And today we saw Netflix's The Perfection. A lesbian horror thriller that is filled with twists and turns and really hard to talk about without spoilers. So we're going to do our best. Yeah, yeah. Um, the best way to describe this thing immediately is it's kind of like bound by way of Boxing Helena. Oh, yeah, I'd 100% agree with that. Um, it's, uh, Jesus, um, it's got the, uh, the, the girl from Get Out. And, uh, mm -hmm. and by that, I mean the, uh, the girlfriend who leads. Give me the keys, Rose! Yep. Rose, who brings her uh, boyfriend to her family, and then they proceed to fuck things up. And I, what I, what I really liked about this movie is it kind of knew that you would have that preconceived notion of yes. that actress going in and plays with that hardcore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which like that's like knowing your audience right there is knowing yep. that like oh, everyone's gonna expect this from this actress. So let's pull them along as far as we can until we drop other shit on you. Yeah, yeah, until the other <laughs> shoe drops. Yeah, exactly. All right. So, basic setup is this. Uh, at a concert, these two girls meet each other. Turns out they're attracted to each other. They start a relationship. They go on a backpacking trip. And then weird shit starts to happen. Super weird. And let me tell you, right when you think you have figured out like the twist of the movie, keep watching, cause there's more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there yeah. is way, way more. Yeah. <laughs> only, only if you are an asshole like me, <laughs> could you predict where the movie was gonna end up. But even then, I did not predict everything that was gonna happen. I, there's some details I have no idea how anyone could predict, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially the way this movie ends, because this movie has a, whoa, what the fuck ending? Yeah. Yeah, I got, lar I, I figured out large parts of the ending yeah. from the first five minutes, but there is so much more going on in this movie that I'm like, okay. And it is... It turns into a body horror movie at one point. Yeah, it does. It does. Um, and at the beginning, it's kind of like an erotic thriller. Yeah. You know, and yeah. like super erotic. Like the, the, the romance between these two characters is super palpable. Yeah. Um, uh, at one point, it kind of turns into single white female. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just turns into a mind fuck at a, at a certain point. And you're just like, yeah, whoa. And then finally, it turns into a completely different type of movie. That's spoilers, so we can't talk about that yeah, yet. Yeah, can't so. talk about that just yet. But <laughs> before we go on to that, I want to give this movie thumbs up. Oh, hardcore. I really loved it. Hardcore. Like, if, if you're looking for your uh, LGBT representation horror film... Oh, you got uh, it. You need to watch the, the, you got it. the Perfection, because this movie nails that in, like, spades. Yeah, yeah. Um, there are a lot of really great reasons to see this movie. Unfortunately, a lot of them are spoilers, so we're going to move along into that. And just know... That, uh, hey, this is your opportunity to go in the movie cold. So, spoilers. All right. So, where to begin? This movie's kind of in phases, so we kind of have to talk about it in phases. You have, like, this beginning part of the movie with the uh, with the two cellists meeting each other, mm -hmm. falling in love, going backpacking through China together. Yeah. And uh, the thing about this is, is at this point, you're like, oh, this is like a, uh, it's, it's this is going to be like some sort of, like, creepy, like, erotic thriller with a little bit of like maybe misery or something going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, something like that. You know, like like famous cellist and another former famous cellist and former famous cellist is jealous of the famous cellist's current success. Yeah. And shit's gonna go wrong. But then shit that you're not expecting starts happening like the famous cellist uh, starts to go crazy and starts to see shit and seems to have a seems to have contracted some sort of disease that causes her to vomit maggots. Yeah. <laughs> and so you're like, "Oh shit, is this going to turn into a zombie movie?" Yeah. Or is this going to turn into like contracted or something like that? Yeah, yeah. So you really don't know, <laughs> and it gets all the way up to the point 
where it like you see in the trailer, you know what to do, right? And then the girl cuts her fucking yeah, hand off. She chops now, her own hand bear off. Bear in mind, because she's bugs a are, yeah, because bugs are inside. But bear in mind, she's a cellist. Yeah, she yeah. Needs so both her hands. So chopping her hand will stop her cellist career. Yeah. Um, and this is the first twenty minutes of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> then the next. Then phase. the next twist happens, which is the girl who chopped her own hand off is still alive like three or six months later, yep. has crawled herself back to civilization, shown back up at the conservatory that she uh, is a part of, where they nurse her back to health and then kick her out of the conservatory because she can't play the cello anymore. And it turns out that uh, she realizes that the uh, the girl she fell in love with and went backpacking with and encouraged her to chop her hand off when there was bugs all over it uh, was drugging her. Yeah. With uh, hallucinogenic drugs or anti-hallucinogenic drugs, which can have the opposite effect if you're not hallucinating. Yeah. <laughs> and so that's why she saw the bugs and she was constantly encouraging shit. Like she, when she threw up. Yeah, um, she would say, there are the magnets. There's what? Are those bugs? Are those bugs? Oh my God. And so she would see it because she's very susceptible in that state. Yeah. Um, and she does it in the middle of China so that no one will know what she's saying. Yeah, no one can hear what she's saying. Um, well, they can hear it, but they can't understand. They can't understand the words. There's a, there's, there's a lost in translation thing happening here. Um, and so this kicks off the next phase of the thing where it's just like, okay, I'm going to get revenge on this bitch because my home just kicked me out. Yeah, and it's all her fault. So I'm going to go track her down, chop off her hand in revenge, right? Keep watching. But wait. <laughs> Keep watching. But wait. So she kidnaps the uh, the former famous cellist who chopped, who got her to chop her hand off, brings her back to the conservatory as a gift to her former mentor, and then they strap her to a thing and... It looks like they're gonna torture her or some yeah. shit. And this is when we find out that this conservatory is more than it seems. It is actually the front for a creepy pedophilic sex cult yep. led by the head uh, conservatory guy, the mentor, who basically takes these kids from all over the world, um, usually from a part of the world that is really obscure so no one will remember them, yeah. brings them into his conservatory, trains them, and then reaches a point to where, as punishment for their failure to succeed in the goals that he set for them, he rapes them. And not just him, every other member of the yeah. fucking uh, conservatory as well. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah. It turns out that the main character, the uh, psychopathic uh, former cellist, famous cellist who got the other one to chop her hand off, was trying to save the uh, the famous cellist from 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 living that same fate and lie because uh, she also went to this conservatory. Yep. She also experienced it. She was trying to save her, chopping off her hands so that she can't play cello anymore and so she's no use to them and they'll kick her out so she's free yeah. from the rape cult. <laughs> yep. Um, but, it, but it seems like that might have backfired because now she's got her strapped up so that she can face punishment for chopping her hand off so that the rest of this conservatory can rape her and do what they want with her. But, but wait! wait. <laughs> <laughs> There's more! <laughs> it gets funnier. <laughs> because it turns out, rather than actually kidnap the former famous cellist, they teamed they up. They team up. They have this plan to get back at the rape cult that rapes them. And uh, that leads to rather violent and bloody results. Yeah, a lot of <laughs> blood in the last act of you this know, movie. There's some, a lot of death. There's some castrations. There's some severed limbs. It's pretty fucked up. Yep. Um, yep, the uh, the the old uh, cellist gets her arm fucked up. Yeah, by by the mentor guy in a fight with him. Yeah, they um, fucking like he drives a steak knife through her arm and just rips and it all the way down. And it's the opposite hand oh. that the other cellist lost. Yeah, and so you get this really beautiful ending in which they're both playing the cello together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, where they're like we're like, like a Siamese twin act. Yeah, they're both playing the cello. And it's kind of beautiful and kind of romantic. <laughs> it's kind of romantic. I mean, as, as they have finally gotten <laughs> revenge on this guy. Yeah. They've taken his eyes, they've taken his nuts, they've taken his legs, they've taken his arms. The only thing they leave him are his ears so, so that, that he they can, can hear play. the play. <laughs> and that's the movie. 
there's That's some other the movie. There's some other things that happen here. Like there's this really intense scene in which uh, uh, when they got her captured, where she has to play perfectly the uh, the the famous thing that she always trained with. And if she gets a note wrong, they're gonna rape this little Chinese girl that they just brought in. Yeah, <laughs> and that seems pretty goddamn intense. <laughs> um, yeah, and I love the way they film it too because when she actually makes the note wrong, the entire screen shakes. Yeah, and and, and you you feel it in your bones yeah, when it yeah. happens. Ooh. You're like, oh no. Um, I, I love this movie. It's really good. It's super intense. It's really an emotional thrill ride. It's surprising as fuck. It's, if you haven't figured it out like Jack has, you're sitting there going like, whoa, wait, what's happening now? And it's romantic. It is a romantic movie. <laughs> it's, 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 it's beautiful. Not a lot of movies featuring uh, um, musical rape cults can be called romantic, but this one can. This one does. This one pulls it off. It does it. I, it, it is, dare I say, perfection. <laughs> uh, I don't know what else to say. I just really love this movie. I love this it movie really too. Good. I highly recommend it. It's on Netflix. So if you have Netflix, go check it out. Just Yeah. I. What else to say? I can't think of anything else to fucking say. It's, it's. It's like trying to describe a roller coaster. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, like there's a drop, drop and it was really intense. intense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but no, you really just have to see the movie. It's mm -hmm. great. Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, and I'm, I'm assuming that if you've watched this far, you're either a person who needs to have spoilers or you already watched it. Yes. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Dude, where they get where can they find you? <laughs> I'm the horror guru. You can find me at the horror guru on Twitter, on Twitch, on YouTube, on Facebook. Just look up the horror guru or Blood Splattered Cinema and I'll be there. And y'all know me. I'm Count Jackie. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Instagram. And I stream every Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern, here on YouTube. And again on Sunday, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, midnight. Eastern. Uh, and we talk about all sorts of fucked up things. Um, you know, talk about Satan, we talk about the occult, talk about sexuality, we talk about them D and D's. Mm-hmm. Oh Lots yeah, of D &Ds. the devil's game, man. Telling ya. And uh We got to Patreon! Holy shit! <laughs> That's right. We have a Patreon, so if you want to donate to the show. Uh, our Patreons will be in the description below. We appreciate everything, though you don't have to, you know. Hey, Even a dollar a month helps. A dollar a month will help, but you don't have to. It's just if you like us. Yep. And so, until next time, Ave Satanas, Disco Inferno, and uh, keep watching fucked up movies. I gotta be honest, man. I, I love you, but if my arm got cut off and yours got cut off, no, we're just we just both got one arm now. Yeah, 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 that's about it. Yeah. Maybe I'll get one of those Battle Angel Elite arms. Ooh, now we're talking. Yeah.